The Yolo Box Pro is a great solution for churches that want to live stream. And one of the first things a church is going to want to do is overlay their lyrics and scriptures onto their live streamed video. Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to the Yolo Live channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to overlay lyrics and graphics from ProPresenter onto your video with the Yolo Box Pro. ProPresenter is probably the most popular presentation software that is used in churches to generate song lyrics, scriptures, and graphics that are seen on screens in the room. But ProPresenter can also send a separate feed to your video system to be overlaid over your video, giving you lower thirds graphics and lyrics. To understand how this works, we need to understand how a video system overlays graphics on live video. This is a different process than how you would do it in post-production with a video editor, but rather how a broadcast system overlays graphics live. There are three methods for doing this. The first is what's called luma keying. With this method, a threshold is set for brightness or luminance, and anything above that threshold is made visible, and anything darker than the threshold is made transparent. This is probably the simplest method, but you're basically limited to just using white lyrics directly over your video. The second method is chroma keying. Chrominance means the color of the image. So with this method, you specify a color to be made transparent, and any other colors in your image will be visible over your video. It's common to use green as the color to key out. You're probably familiar with the concept of a green screen but you can also use other colors as the key color. The third method that broadcast systems use is linear keying. While this method is the most flexible in the content you can overlay, it's also the most complex because it requires the use of two video signals called key and fill. The key contains a black and white map that tells the video system what is to be shown and what is to be transparent from the fill signal, which actually contains the content that is overlaid. Of these three methods, the Yolo Box Pro uses chroma keying. So for this to work, you'll need to connect an HDMI video signal from your ProPresenter computer to the Yolo Box Pro. First, let's look at how to set up that output in ProPresenter, and then we'll look at how to overlay it over your video on the Yolo Box Pro. In ProPresenter, we need to configure the actual physical output to send our overlay feed out from. And this is an important point. You need a computer and graphics card that can support enough display outputs. A usual configuration would be four display outputs. One for your control monitor, a second for the audience display, third is usually for stage display for musicians and people on stage, and now the fourth output will be our overlay send to the Yolo Box Pro. To configure the overlay output, Go to the Screens menu and select Configure Screens. This dialog is where you configure the physical outputs ProPresenter will use. When you create an audience or stage display screen here on the left, you're creating a display that ProPresenter can send content to. Then on the right, you select the actual physical output from your computer to send it to. So let's create the overlay output. I'm gonna click the plus button next to Audience and create a new audience display. I'll call this Video Overlay. And then select the actual physical output to use from my HDMI connection to the Yolo Box Pro. Close that and go back to the Screens menu again and select Edit Looks. Here's where we can assign a different template to our overlay output. The template changes the formatting of the lyrics and background to be different from what your local audience will see on your main projection display. Where it says presentation, click the no symbol and we're given options to choose from the built-in templates and any templates that you've created. I've created this theme for green screen lower thirds and I'll select purple background. Close that dialog and this drop down here lets me select from all the display outputs that have been configured in ProPresenter. I can select the video overlay display and see that it's now outputting my lyrics in a lower third with this green screen look that's coming from the theme, which is exactly what I need to send to the Yellow Box Pro. And all the while my main projection display in the room 
is still showing the lyrics full screen with the background. And using the theme editor, you can create whatever custom lower thirds you want. I found that the lime green color works perfect with the default chroma settings of the Yellowbox Pro. So I usually start a theme by creating a rectangle to fill the background and setting its color to lime green. Then you can build whatever content you want to show on top of that to create your look. Let's jump over to the Yellowbox Pro and see how to overlay this. I have the HDMI output with the overlay content from ProPresenter connected to HDMI 3 of my Yellowbox Pro. And I have cameras connected to HDMI 1 and 2. And this is how that shows up on my Yellowbox. If I select HDMI 3, you'll see it's the complete output from ProPresenter with the green. So the first thing I need to do is tell the Yellowbox Pro to key out or remove the green from this input. To do that, I'm going to touch this little icon in the upper right corner of HDMI 3, and that takes me to the chroma key settings. Toggle keying on, and right away you can see that it's doing what we want. It's removed the green even with the default settings. If you are using blue as your color to be keyed out, you could change that right here with the key color type. But we'll stick with green because that's what we need. Touch done, and now we need to overlay HDMI 3 over our two inputs. To do that, touch Add Video Source and select the picture-in-picture -picture video. Select HDMI 1 to start with as our main source, and then Next. Select HDMI 3 as our subsource, and Next. Here in the settings, I'm going to reduce the border thickness to zero and bring the scale all the way up and touch Done. Now when I select my picture-in-picture -picture video, you can see my incoming camera feed with the lyrics overlaid just the way we want it. Back in ProPresenter, when I change my lyrics, it's updating live on my video. If you're using two cameras like I have here, you just need to repeat that process. Add a video source, select picture-in-picture -picture 2 with HDMI 2 as your main screen and HDMI 3 again as your subscreen. Remove the border, scale it up, and touch Done. Now here in the main display, I can switch between my two cameras without the overlay, or switch between them with the overlay depending on if I use the HDMI source or the picture-in-picture -picture source. And now I'm ready to go live with my graphics from ProPresenter overlaid on my video. It's also worth noting that the YOLO box has built-in overlay capabilities. At my church, we overlay a lower third with people's names on the video when they get up to talk. But we don't do that on the screens in the room, so the YOLO box makes doing that really easy. I create the lower thirds ahead of time as a PNG file and put those on an SD card and load that in the YOLO box. Then go to the overlay settings here, touch the plus to add a new one, and you could create a lower third graphic right here on the YOLO box if you touch lower thirds and use one of their templates. Or to bring in a file that you've created, touch image overlays and it will find the graphics on your SD card. Choose the one you want and touch done and then done again. Now I can add this overlay whenever I need to during my live stream. Another option if you really want to take your lower thirds graphics to the next level is to use a web-based overlay service. There are other third-party services out there that offer this like Uno, but YOLO Live is currently building this service into their YOLOcast platform. If you sign up for a free trial, even when your live streaming trial is done, you'll still be given free access to the web overlays. So in a browser, I'll log into YOLOcast with the same YOLO Live account I'm using on my YOLO box. Then I'll click on URL overlays in the menu and choose overlay library. And then choose something and add it to my library. Then hover over it and choose open control. Here in the center, I can update the content of the overlay. Stephen Ballast, live streaming guy, and click the update button at the top. 
So now this lower third is being sent out and we can jump back to the yellow box and in the overlay page, touch the plus button and choose web URL overlays and then choose from YOLOcast. And here you can see the overlays from your YOLOcast library. Select it and touch done. I'm gonna scale it up and touch done. Now when I touch that overlay, it goes live on my video. And back in control, I could add many overlays here and control them all on and off right from my browser. The best thing about the YOLOcast overlays is that YOLO Live is just getting started in developing what it can do. So the capabilities there are just gonna get better and better. I hope you can see how powerful the YOLO Box platform is, especially for churches that are using ProPresenter and want a simple yet professional and reliable way to overlay lyrics and graphics on their live stream. Until next time, bye.